Okay, have you ever been just scrolling, throwing that thumb up, sticking that finger this way, and you come across somebody who inspires you with a really cute outfit or action? Well, for today's Fashion Friday was inspired by this really cute post. This woman sitting here with this really bright and bold outfit inspired me to create a handmade card for Fashion Friday. And are you ready? This is it, right? here and we are going to have fun there's a little surprise on the inside this is a really unique card that you guys will have fun making and it's a little bit easier than it looks but it also has a couple more steps than you would think we're going to dive right in and if you haven't already subscribe and hit that bell because we want you to join us for all of our card making and crafting now i will have a link in uh, my instagram where this woman's um clothing inspiration was and you can see the full tutorial right now on my blog at gettingcrafty.net, link in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump on in. The moment I saw this Like an Animal Designer Series paper, it's double-sided, specialty paper, and absolutely gorgeous. I knew I had to have it because I love me some fashion and animal print is back on trend, not that it should have ever gone away. So I'm super stoked that it's back and these are really more fun than you could realize to play with. We're gonna modify it in a way that will blow your mind. Yes, it will. Um, recently, I've been doing a card class embracing the Love For You bundle. And we're going to embrace that stamp set as well for this card today. You can see the full class um, and even receive it in the mail should you want. Uh, make sure you check it out in the link in the description below. Now. That being said, we're going to dive on in. And I've already used our heart punch pack and we will be needing that today right here. And I've already punched out this designer series paper. I'm putting it to the side so I don't lose it. There's a good chance, you guys, knowing me, that I will lose it. Let's just be real. Um, we are going to need a Simply Chamois. I'm gonna teach you some techniques to do. Um, and we're gonna be using our Stampin' Write markers. You can see I was using this one just recently. And it's going to be in the Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, and the Basic Black. Um, I've already punched out some Melon Mambo hearts. Ba, 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 ba. And it is pretty. It's like this is a fun, trendy, um, pretty hot, like trend style, I think, uh, for a stamp set. Um, no, for a design. So um, we're going to jump in. I'm going to need, and I'm going to use, you guys, my... Um, silicone craft sheet and if you ask why I'm doing that now this is a technique where we're going to be coloring and designer series paper is known to be thinner so it can go through the color um, this is not cardstock right it's pre-patterned and it's white so it makes it easy um, but you just need to be aware that you need to protect your surfaces and so I'm going to do that now okay so we're also going to be using a brand new embossing folder um, called the hive and this is the embossing folder and I wanted to create a similar texture and look that you will see mimicked in this designer series um, specialty paper. So you can see right behind it, there is texture that comes through. Now, um, so I've already embossed that for us. Make sure you see on my blog how to get your own mini cut and embossing machine that's in boho blue, so freaking cute. You want to do so. I love, love this folder. And it's an online exclusive. You can grab it, including our Getting Crafty Club coming up. So make sure that you check that out as well. Our Getting Crafty Club is going to bring you the fun. There you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and color this. I'm gonna color one kind of slow and then we'll go a little bit quicker for the second one. Um, and I thought her outfit, if you guys look here, her outfit, I'm gonna put it to the side while we're coloring, right over here. We're going to design um, inspired boy and she has a ton of bright green and pink in it with black accents and my daughter knows that I will totally rock that you guys no fear I um we were talking about we went roller skating recently and I'm grabbing the stamp and write marker and melon mambo and I'm gonna color the inside in I am not worried if I go over the gold because it is non-porous it'll just wipe off um, so I was telling my friends that it was for an event for church, for the youth group. And I asked if I should dress like in full eighties regala, you know, like the leg warmers and the headbands. And my friend Tracy had a laugh. She's like, you do you and we'll love you. And my daughter's like, do not, do not go there. Especially with all of her friends and the cute boys and right. Whatever. 
it's fun to, to embarrass your kids. Maybe that's just me. Um, now, this is a technique where you will probably be able to see streaks if you don't go over it a couple times. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm going in. Now, the other one, I'll probably do it backwards just so you can see it. I'll do the granny apple green on the outside and then go in and um, do the melon mambo on the inside. It doesn't matter which way you go, you guys. It really doesn't. And it doesn't matter if you're not perfect. This is a very loose, cool style. Um, one of my cousins, uh, his wife, uh, she wants, she loves fashion probably more than I do, if that's possible. We talk fashion all the time, actually. And um, so I think she'll love this card. And I was thinking about sending it to her. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know that I want to give the same card to my, my three youngest daughters so um, that are home still. There you go. I'm just double checking if there's anything I need to color in. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the granny apple green right here. And I'm looking for the paintbrush side. It has two sides on our Stampin' Write markers. There's a pen side and there's a paintbrush side. Try not to bust your tip. I think that's the biggest um, tip that I can recommend is don't bust your tip. That's your tip for the day. <laughs> um, I found also that as I colored it, I thought I had reached every spot. I left little splotches that didn't, maybe I didn't color it over it or I did a streak and I missed a piece. You can always go over at the end and re-add color to it. It's not going to hurt. And this is our same ink that you would find in our Stampin' Ink Pads. So I'm going to show you several techniques with our Stampin' Write Markers. And you're going to want to grab a color family. There's a reason why. This is a color family we're working with right now. And it comes just like this. This is our Stampin' Write Marker in the brights. So you'll see the Melon Mambo and the Granny Apple Green right here. And then all of these are designed to coordinate with one another. And um, it makes for really easy crafting. And... Um, it's pretty fun. So I'm going to go through and kind of color through here. When you store your ink pads, I had um, one of my stampers message me that she was surprised that she has to store it flat, even like when traveling. And it's true, especially if your ink pads or your markers are juicy. Um, that is liquid ink, you guys. So it will move about. And so I use our um, stamp pad holders that actually have a spot for our stamp and write marker so that everything stays flat. And when I travel, I stack them and they're designed, you guys, I love our ink pads, they're designed with little feet so that they click in together and they can store flat that way. I just totally blocked that. Did you see that little dot right there? Um, so as I'm coloring, I'm seeing little areas where I might've missed uh, pa a pass with the stamp and write marker. And this is thinner. So I want to show you the back as we're going. See if you can see. As I color saturate, you can see lines starting to come through. And I don't want to ruin my surface. Uh, being that it's a water-based ink, I wouldn't be really worried too much about damaging a surface. Um, the nice thing, too, about our silicone craft sheets is it kind of grabs on. You wouldn't think so with my fingers. But it kind of has a, a natural cling to it, so it's not going anywhere, right? But if it was on here, I could easily move it around, right? So it's going to hold it, it down for me. And I don't like streaks. So I will have a tendency to go back and just kind of do a little circular motions to break up the streaky look. But this is so vibrant. I don't think anybody's going to take note of what you're doing. And we're almost finished with this one heart. I just want you guys to see this one heart. And then I'll go really quickly um, on the other with a little time lapse there. So you don't miss it. A little speed up video. Because you know how to do this. This is actually very soothing, I find. Um, one of my friends is a, is a therapist. And she talks about the importance of coloring because what it does is it focuses your eye and your hand coordination. It creates a link there that's supposed to be there. Past generations, we did a lot more manual labor, that kind of thing. So um, it's necessary to stimulate the brain by doing some eye-hand coordination there. There you go. Okay, I think it's great. Um, so you can see that one there up close and it's so shiny makes me so happy uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this one really quickly also
I adore, adore how this all came out. Like, I mean, it is bright and it's festive. And if you look, there is little patches of white that did not get filled in. So that's where you can go back in. If you're an A-type and maybe that bothers you, um, I did take a napkin to it and wiped off anything that might have been sitting on top of the gold um, because, again, that will never get absorbed in. It's just a non-porous um, surface. So non-porous means there's no pores to absorb it in. It's just not going to... It'll transfer accidentally, probably, is my guess. Now, because I've already used this with a new available starting March 1st Hive embossing folder. Ah, something just landed on my lip. Um, I'm going to use the Heart Pack here. And all the measurements for this are on my blog right now. So you can see that link in the description below. I'm going to punch on the inside. I want to make sure I leave an exterior wall, right? So I have one. Now I could punch here and it's too tight. So I like to turn it around and kind of punch. And then I look for where it's going to meet right up against the next heart. So I just kind of pull it out a smidge and push it all the way in. two little hearts. Um, we're going to end up using this on the card. And this is such a bold and fun card. And I can't wait to take you through it with me. Um, so this here is our bright melon mambo cardstock. I'm going to take the um, hearts over the heart. This is designed to layer. So we're going to take our Stampin' Dimensional Adhesive. One, two, oh, two, and three. And then just place it over one of the scalloped hearts. That texture peeks through, and I think it kind of mimics the animal print that you see here. And we're gonna do that again really quickly on this next one. And then again, we don't need our um, silicone sheet anymore. So I can just set that aside. And uh, because this is going to, one of them's going to my daughter's. So the one that I made first will go to this one. Nobody gets me like um, you get me. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, the next one is slightly different. Um, actually, I think I might do the same because my cousin is such a fascin fashionista. I think she'll love this. Uh, and we'll just, I'll mention the, the passion for fashion in my note to her. So here we go. Now we're gonna take dimensionals and apply them all over. This is what I would say like is a middle line stamping. It's not basic stamping. This is just a little bit extra steps. Um, maybe even considered like an avid um, stamper. And I wanna make sure you guys can see it. Now I've already kind of measured this out. So what I did initially, so what I did initially was I just started laying them out. I knew I wanted two hearts on there that were bold and bright. So then I took the other hearts and I was kind of just playing with them and like, oh, well, if I pull this one up, there's another heart there. Now, heart on heart is really fun, um, but it can be kind of hard to see. So keep that in mind when you're putting it together. And then I took this one and I split it in half. Um, I do have a tendency to be a little A-type about certain things. I like it to be straight, but I know my own skill, that's just not like a commonplace thing. So using the line on my cut, cutting um, stamp and trimmer here, I'm just gonna stamp down or cut down here, take my two pieces and place those. This bottom heart will go on the bottom. One, two, right there. And what's really good for card making and crafting is to take something off. So what I mean by that is take an image off that you can see that it's running off, especially if you love fashion. If you're looking at somebody's outfit and the image does not transfer off of their clothing, you will find that you'll find something wrong with that, that outfit. And so pattern needs to flow off of the image of the eye. It's just a thing. Now we have these two hearts that I want to stamp on and we'll eventually put this down right there. So I'm going to set this aside a little bit. Now I already have the greetings on here. So this is um, nobody gets me like you get me. And then this is the happy Valentine's Day. But happy Valentine's Day does not fit across this heart. It'll be too tight. I've already tried. <laughs> So I'm going to show you another technique with our stamp and write markers. So this is a very easy uh, technique. I'm going to highlight only happy. I'm only going to do Valentine's Day, not happy. The Valentine's Day. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp. I find that it does not hold the ink 
as well sometimes, like it can move around. So I'm gonna go just like that. And then I'm gonna place it on one heart. Now, this is where you need your um, Simply Chamois. I have mine right here. You wanna clear it. So this is our moist chamois pad. And I'm just gonna go in and make sure there's no more ink on that stamp. Then we're gonna use that and highlight only the happy. This is the same ink as you would find in our um, water-based ink pads. And I'm just gonna kind of go above the ha Valentine's Day. There you go. How easy is that? Now, we will need the Simply Chamois in another way. I'm gonna show you guys another little technique with this later. I'm gonna put this to the side. And it's kind of like reverse fake masking. How about that? We'll call it fake masking um, with our Simply Chamois. Now, I find that the ink doesn't always sit on the top. You want to make it a little gushy. Once you get it, if you were to color something and you're worried about the transferring it, you can huff on it and just do a slight breath. And then that helps to re-moisten the pad or the stamped image. So there you go. Nobody gets me like you get me. And I love that this is right on my table. My youngest daughter, who is um, just over 11, she is really good at making them uh, wash out. So she rinses them and I don't know what her secret is. It takes me longer. I don't know what she does. And I think she uses warm water to get it going initially. I, and that's my thinking, she said, because I remember asking her, I was like, Arabella, what do you do? And she's like, you fill it with hot water and then you do this. And then I stopped listening. <laughs> Maybe that's where my kids get it from. They stopped getting, they stopped listening to me. Uh, there we go. Or I might've been distracted, you know, life, motherhood. There you go. And then tucking in where apparently I made it funky. And we're gonna go in right here to the edge. And everything's going on with a dimensional. There we go. One, two, three. And it's very soothing to the eye to have color on color. Whereas I find these um, metallic hearts that we've created are super vibrant, like a very cool retro nod to all Lisa thing, things Lisa Frank that I grew up with, right? Boom shakalaka. So I love this as it is. And we're gonna keep going. Now, the weakness of this, um, this has become weak because we punched out the middle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you some, um, and this is something that we were talking about with our Stampin' Dimensionals. It's layering. So you're going to find that some of these will peek through into um, where the hole has been punched. And I was just talking to some uh, stamping friends of mine that were over here about this very thing. So when you put it on, and boom shakalaka. So one of the things you wanna look for when applying a layer is you wanna look at the top half or the bottom half. Uh, because if you're off center, if you're balanced on one side, your eye will opt optical illusionally think that it's okay, no matter what. So there's a little bit of dimensional here, but the center is left open. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one, two, right? And then one on the outside. It's missing the interior um, single one. So you have to stack one, two. My cousin is immensely talented. She serves um, and, and takes care of so many people in our community that I think sending her a Valentine's card might be really fun. And we have a Granny Apple Green card base. Now this is a light enough color that I believe it would just be fine sending the card without an interior, but we're going to go interior all the way. We have a little surprise for the inside. And I think it's a little extra, kind of like my daughter, and who actually emulates my cousin. She is very, actually both of my kids adore their Auntie Ingrid. They just do. If you know Ingrid, you know she's phenomenal. And, and so I had to laugh because I went to my uncle, my, oh, I just ripped that. Uh, my uncle was in the hospital for, what the heck am I doing? 
So my, hun my uncle was in the hospital. I don't know why I ripped that. I think I pushed too hard. You don't need to push hard on this. And um, my daughter that day was wearing to church uh, her um, black leather skirt. And we get to the hospital and there's her Auntie Ingrid in black leather um, pants. And I had to laugh because it's, of course they are, right? They're both wearing ankle booties. They were both, it was so cute. Just so cute that they love each other enough that that's something like speaks to them. So we're going to use this for you from that stamp set, love for you, and this little heart right there. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you guys. I could use the Stampin' Right markers and it'll cause a streaky effect. Let me just show you what I mean by that. We'll end up coloring the back. So as you're coloring it, it picks up every streak on photopolymer more than it would on red rubber. It's not a diss on the thing here, but when I stamp it, you guys are going to see what I'm talking about, right? So can you see the streaks that occurred with a Stampin' Right marker that may not have occurred naturally with a um, red rubber? So what we're going to do is we're going to fake it out. This is where you guys will have fun with me. I'm all about the technique. Now, I also am kind of lazy. You could totally mask the O's in here, and we're gonna stamp on the inside for you. So I think this card is going to both my cousin and my fashionista daughter. All my kids, they seem to have a passion for fashion as well, and I'm really grateful that they have this close friendship with an auntie like that. So, oh, stop. I'm so glad we stopped. Okay. Then we're going to take our Simply Chamois. Now, it does not come like this. This is after a lot of uses. You can wash it in your dishwasher or your laundry. Just don't use any softener. I don't use softener anyway, just so you were wondering. And I used it to wipe off the, the ink on the two O's right there. Don't wash it with anything light colored. Right there. So there's our for you. Then, again, I don't want streaky hearts. Um, I do want this, and because all of our colors all coordinate and make for easy crafting, I can just stamp the heart here and here. Boom! How cute is that? I love this one so much. And um, it's such a fashion scream. Like, oh, I think she's going to love it. I think both of my girls are going to love it. My cousin and my daughter. And what's funny is I'm pushing down hard. And I think it's because I'm excited. Um, my daughter is not, like, into pinks and, and that. But I think she's going to love this. I know Ingrid will love it. And we're just going to frame it out on the inside. If you're going to go extra, y'all, just go extra. I love this card! Um, okay, so this is how this card came out. I would love to know what you think. Do you think this is Fashion Friday inspiration? Again, I want to show you guys the inspiration for this project right here. So you guys should be able to see the inspiration right here. And this woman's um, Instagram page is marked on my Instagram page. I just, I loved her cute little post with those pink booties and that really vibrant, um, I would say it's like a sweater dress. I'm not really sure. But in the moment I saw it, I passed it and came back and I was like, no. And then I passed it and I was like, oh, that paper we have, like an animal, works perfectly for this, um, ins this uh, inspiration. It goes to show that you can be inspired anywhere you go. Whether you're walking about, I have actually taken pictures of people's outfits at church or at the mall or shopping. Um, I might be a little bit freaky like that, but I just love, love how this card came out. I think it's vibrant. I think it's fun. It's a little bit over the top, much like those people in my life. Do you have somebody who's over the top that you would send a card like this to? Comment below and let me know who would you send this to. I think it's a really suitable um, inspiration for this great outfit. I hope you do as well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And you can even join us for this free uh, Love For You um, class that is happening right now on our Facebook Lives. You can see more on my blog with the description for this project and all of the measurements at gettingcrafty.net. And if I don't see you, yes, you. 
Happy Valentine's Day. Or if you're joining me, happy Galentine's Day. Celebrate the women in your life um, and the men. Maybe you don't give this to a guy. I don't know. My husband would not appreciate it. Just saying. Um, but I hope that you feel inspired to, to have it. And if I don't see you, this is a card that's supposed to be for you as well. And it, hopefully it inspires you to smile and step outside of our comfort zone and have fun with a little bit of color. Thanks for joining me today. See these upcoming videos right now and subscribe if you haven't so that you can join us all week and then join us for our lives and our videos and all of the tutorials that are waiting for you. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.